Hi guys, for those of you that don't know us, I'm Kate. And I'm Julia. Barn Boots and Country Roots. You might recognize this guy. His name is Johnny from Day by Day Vlog. Today we're heading out to go have a lesson on Storm with Fiona. We've been keeping a really big secret, and that is that Day by Day Vlogs, a huge Canadian YouTube channel, also about horses and life on the farm, invited us out to their place to do another collab video. We need your help. We're trying to grow our channel, and the only way we can do that is if you subscribe and hit that notification bell. It's completely free, and it really helps us out and brings you great content. Day by Day Vlogs came to visit us about a month ago to catch up with Johnny and see how he's doing. If you didn't see those crossover videos, then part one is on Day by Day's channel and part two is on ours. Go check it out. Since that day, we've actually kept in touch and now they have to say goodbye to their beloved horse, Storm, who is actually gonna be leased out to their trainer for a lesson horse in his program. We know how hard it is saying goodbye to your first horse. We went through it with Sahara and it's heartbreaking. So when we got a message from them asking if we would want to come out and help them celebrate his last day at their barn, we were honored. We've been following day by day for a few years now. We've fallen in love with Storm just like many of you guys have. And we were really upset to hear that we weren't going to be seeing him as often anymore. So today we're heading out to go have a lesson on Storm with Fiona. You know what's weird? I haven't ridden a horse other than Duke or Jack in a little over a year. Yeah, since we moved. So it's gonna be really weird riding a horse that isn't them. Especially since I'm like really used to like how they work and like and like all the stuff that they need me to do. So riding another horse is gonna be <laughs> interesting. We are getting ready to head out and meet Day by Day Vlogs and Storm. We are almost at the barn to meet up with uh, Laura and Gabby and Sophie to see Storm and then Kate is gonna ride Storm today. Maybe Julia, okay? Maybe. We'll see. We'll see when we get there. It was a bit of a drive, but we have finally arrived at the Day by Day Vlogs barn and riding arena, and we are so excited. We can't wait to see them again and meet Finn, Chino, and of course, Storm. Horse, I know, my size ratio like is like completely yeah. off. And your horse is even bigger than Chino. Chino looks well, big. Stormy was yeah. going to a new farm yesterday, and he went wild. Like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, he, they do play like that, but, but Storm has like this thing where he has to be the boss of everybody in the world and everybody has to know it. Like, and in the summer, he's the worst. We saw, we were watching, we were like, oh, that's like Jack and Duke right there. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, Jack's yeah, like, I know. I watched your video about how they got out. Oh my gosh. Yeah. The boys didn't. It was just honestly yeah. foxy. Yeah. It was I terrifying. Like Tyler doesn't want to get caught. When our girls get loose, they're like, oh, I'll just stand here and eat grass. When yeah. our boys get loose, when Storm gets loose, he's like, I've been sticking out the way, you guys. Yeah. Follow me and I'll take you for a I, ride. See, like, Jack and Foxy are that. He just stays. And Foxy too. She doesn't really go. Well, Foxy, Foxy will like leave. We can just leave her stall door like wide open. She has like no food and we're carrying food around in front of her. Yeah. She and she'll just kind of like stand right at the edge and stare at you like I can't go any farther, but I want the food that you're holding. Yeah. She's like, she's Bring so it to good. Me, yeah. I love that. You know, yeah. my horse was in the field today. I was watching out the window and she was in the field and a horse and buggy went by and she saw them and it scared her. I don't know if she was nervous about it. Like, I don't think she, I think she has like anxiety about other horses. And I saw her and she made a big noise and she ran to Sam. <laughs> she uh, like, save me! And I was like, me. it takes a lot for a horse to like trust you enough to yeah. say, like, she to recognizes like, that we're her herd You're gonna protect and, them, yeah. Yeah, we haven't had her that long. So like that was so, so heart and even Sam's heart was like so happy. Duke, if he gets loose, he just likes to run yeah. and then and go if over. You're thinking, don't go there, don't go there. They're I feel like he's gonna run off there. a cliff. Yeah. Have fun. And just like that, 
Kate has the honor of being Storm's very first lesson in his new career path. Once you get past us, you can pick up your truck. Well, he must think that you know what you're doing because... He trotted. <laughs> he trotted. <laughs> it's, very, it's very rare for it's anybody like, else. person she's feeling him out and give him a few minutes to get to know each other. How's he feel? Pretty good? Whoa. Whoa. Not really. It's like it kind of feels like oh. when what? When but Duke's putting in half of his effort. Oh. That's probably pretty much what Storm's doing. <laughs> So Storm loves to go fast. He's the fastest horse in the world when he's in the field yeah. with no rider on him. He is a fast horse. But when you put a rider on him, he can slow it down. All right, let's give him a squeeze and ask him to step up. I want you to think about turning your toes in a little bit and using the inside yeah. of your ankle to squeeze him. They're not that easy to do. Yeah, I know. I know that feeling. Toes forward. That's it. You want to think your toes and your knees need to point more forward so that they're not sticking out like chicken wings. You want to let them drape right down to the ground using your inner thigh and your inner calf. Everybody thinks it's the back of your thigh or the back of your calf that helps, and it is not. You want to develop the muscles to use your inner calf and ankle to get your horse moving. Well, that's something I didn't know. People think that it was behind? I didn't know that. I always thought it was like inside. Oh, my, yeah. She does have a bad habit of turning her feet out. We were just talking about that. And Julie was telling us that she does the thumb thing that my kids do. Like, she doesn't keep her thumbs. Oh, no. <laughs> I think my, my thumbs, like, uh, they should be. Kate right. keeps them, though, like this. All right. I want you to do a sitting trot and a big breath out, and he will walk. Good job. Jeez. Storm should be going to your house. Oh, that's cool. Kate says that. And my horses stop. I'm like, oh my god. That Julia, might go away. Julia says she wants to ride him. She's like, when she's huh? done, I'm All gonna right. get on him because she thinks that even she could ride him. Just try him for a few minutes and see how he is. Hopefully, she can make him go too. He's <laughs> 100 percent gonna be better than Jack. Yeah. We were talking about how her sister got like an easier, quieter horse, and she got like a more. Well, he he was super lazy. So was ours. So was but, Sophie. And he still is. He so he keeps pulling into the center because he just wants to be done. And we were, she was always getting on and off in the center. So we mm. changed that up. Mm -hmm. But oh, Stormy. Yeah, he Hands and he's the sweetest horse. Oh, he's wow. like he's not nasty at all. Well, that's the problem we have with Julia because she's just like a kind little soul that yeah. she doesn't want to get them in trouble. So she gets really upset when Kate corrects him. Yep. Your family she's is us. Cool. I know. Sophie used to be really soft too. Yeah. Yeah. And I, that's why I said I was like, but you can't let him get away with it. She doesn't even like it verbally correct him at anything. And so <laughs> she is, right? Dom says, you have to be tougher. No. Yeah. Because otherwise you have problems. Do you know what a serpentine is? Yeah. 
All right, let's go ahead and pick up our trot and let's ride a three loop serpentine. Yeah, I didn't learn it, but it's, I think it's just like zigzagging across the zone. Yes. You say you've ridden them many times. Just didn't I, know what they were called? No, I knew what they were called, but like I never actually got taught. More leg, click, click, click. Good, click, 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 get them up. Find that nice big trot you had before. Bring your shoulders back and look up. Thumbs on top. Let's ride it again. We're going to do the serpentine down and back. Click, click, click. Use the inside of your ankles and calf to get them going. There, look up. Excellent. Always looking where you want to go. Outside leg, hop and turn. Keep that right leg on so he doesn't drop his shoulder. Good. him from dropping his shoulder. Push it on. Inside calf, not your heel. <laughs> a totally different muscle to work. I know. Bring your leg back just a little bit and think about using, you know how your ankle has a bone on the inside and a bone on the outside? Yeah. Think about using the inside bone. Give you a better visual. That's a nice trot. You're gonna turn at the roll top and come up the center between the two red and white poles. Between the red and white poles, you're gonna change direct or change your rise, and at the end of the ring, change direction. Close your fingers. That's it. Use your, Use your ankles. Put them on the rail. Push your right hand forward. When he starts cutting into the center, you're gonna push with your left heel. So I want you to loosen your right rein a little bit. Yep. And when he cuts, you're gonna put your left heel and push him back to the rail. Good. Pardon? One time I went to one of those trucks past me while I was right there and I was so close to the road and Chino almost bolted. Oh. I held him, but like he was gonna go. It's terrifying. Look up! If you're enjoying this video, go ahead and hit subscribe, like, and the notification bell and that way you will always know when we're posting a new video. We would love for you to join us on our horse journey. So, when you're ready, you're gonna slide your outside leg a little bit back, squeeze it on, and you're going to kiss. Good luck.
kiss, kiss, kiss. Use your voice, kiss. There you go. <laughs> That's about all you get. <laughs> That <laughs> storm. What the fuck is that? <laughs> you can do that, right? Yeah. <laughs> so bring your lower leg back. Turn your toes forward and keep your ankles on. Yeah, <laughs> it's I know. comfy. I like it. You can do it forever. You don't even have to... Man, we should have brought him to our place. Well, I know. As I said, he's the perfect horse for you guys. Especially for me, because now I'm scared of cantering, because Jack always used to canter off oh, with me. You could, like, look at that. Well, this one doesn't canter off on anything. The, the, I could probably canter stop. him. All canter. right, let me see your light seat. Do you know how to do that? Sort of. Okay. Let me see. Stand. Yes. You're going to stand in your stirrups and hold your bum in the air. Be sure to hit subscribe, like, and the notification bell so you can join us next episode to watch the final hour that Storm is at his barn with his day-by-day -day family, where Fiona puts Kate through her paces and Julia builds up the courage to get on Storm. Will she canter him and how will he be with a nervous rider? Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Barn Boots and Country Roots.